All of the land was going through a drought brought on against the wicked King Ahab by none other than the prophet Elijah. If you don't know what a drought is, it's basically when it stops raining for a really long period of time. And that can lead to many things, including lack of food because the crops don't get water like they used to. So King Ahab's land was running out of food. Have you ever run out of food before? It's terrible. You get so hungry, so you go to the pantry, but all the cereal's gone, so you look for some chips and crackers, and those are gone too, so then you head over to the fridge, and there's not even any leftovers in there. All you find is a single head of broccoli, and nobody's that desperate. <laughs> but what if, after all that, you walk outside, and off in the distance you see a bird flying in and it flies all the way up to you and drops food right into your lap. Whoa, uh, oh, oh, hey little guy. Hey, is that a cashew for me? Give it here. Thanks. Single cashew? How many birds did it take to feed this guy? <laughs> this sounds pretty ridiculous, but this was basically what was happening to Elijah. God told Elijah to go to this small brook during the drought. He told him to drink from the brook and that every morning and evening, ravens would bring him food to eat. Elijah had to trust God. He had to trust that God would actually send the birds to drop off food like he said he would. Elijah could have spent his whole time up there camped out, worrying about whether or not the birds would actually come, but instead of wasting time wondering if God would actually send birds, he just trusted that God would do what he promised. He trusted God and God provided for him with water from the brook and food that was conveniently dropped off by birds. Maybe you can relate to Elijah. Maybe you're in a situation where you aren't sure where your next meal is coming from. Maybe you're not waiting on food. Maybe you're waiting on healing or maybe your family is having money trouble and you're waiting for that to pass. In those times that you are unsure or waiting, I would encourage you to ask for God's help. He wants to help you because he loves you so much. So much so that he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross for you so that you could be a part of his family. If he gave you his only son, how much more do you think he would be willing to help you with your current problems? Maybe you have prayed and asked for God's help and you're still waiting. If you're still unsure or waiting for God's help to come through, I would tell you the same thing that Jesus said. Don't worry about it. Jesus talked about not being anxious or worrying about the things of everyday life in the book of Matthew, chapter six, verses 31 through 33. He said, so don't worry about these things saying, what will we eat? What will we drink? What will we wear? These things dominate the thoughts of unbelievers, but your heavenly father already knows all your needs. Seek the kingdom of God above all else and live righteously and he will give you everything you need. A couple of verses before this, Jesus talks about how worrying doesn't really help anything. The same God that provided for Elijah wants to provide for you too. When we seek God and his kingdom, he takes care of us. Like this verse says, he will give us everything we need. So don't worry about it. God knows what you need and he wants to give it to you. Now that we know this, we can do what Elijah did and trust God to come through for us. So whether it's food or healing or money or anything else, Remember, every day we can trust Jesus.